I'd like to talk about sodium bicarbonate and potassium bicarbonate. Bicarbonate medicine is actually CO2 medicine. Bicarbonate turns to CO2 when you when it hits the, the stomach acid or if you put a lemon, squeeze a fresh lemon in a glass of sodium bicarbonate, you'll see it instantly bubble and turn to carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide medicine is a crucial medicine. It's very important. Carbon dioxide is one of the keys to life, like oxygen is, and like hydrogen is, like water is, and as such shouldn't be ignored. I am one of the world's experts on sodium bicarbonate and thus on carbon dioxide medicine. I have a book, the first book, and still one of the principal um, books on the subject. It's been, I, I actually I don't have it in my hands in English, but it's been translated into Chinese, into Polish, into uh, German, into I guess this is uh, Slovakia. Many people, or most people, don't understand why sodium bicarbonate is one of the best medicines on the planet. Probably even better than um, medical marijuana, which is a natural medicine, multi-uses. Uses. Sodium bicarbonate is the key, or is carbon dioxide, is the key to oxygen. Oxygen is incredibly dangerous, or even deadly, without carbon dioxide. In fact, when the cylinders in the hospital, you can't feed somebody pure oxygen. You have to put carbon dioxide and mix it in. Carbon dioxide is, has been demonized because of uh, man-made global warming which is basically a fraud because it's not really a warming gas, it's actually a cooling gas up in the stratosphere. Carbon dioxide is totally necessary. As the carbon dioxide levels in the air go up, plants get very happy. Very happy because they use carbon dioxide as a fuel, as a food. We too Carbon dioxide is real, actually not a waste product. We uh, doctors like to think is it as a metabolic waste. When we exercise, we create a lot of CO2, and that's very healthy. That is why exercise is very healthy. The more CO2 you have, the the blood vessels dilate, blood flow increases and more oxygen is delivered. One of the big problems in the world today with modern man is fast breathing. People are breathing too fast. 50 years ago or 70 years ago in the medical texts, normal breathing rate would be about eight. In today's medical textbooks, they've increased it to 12. Cancer patients are usually breathing at 18, 20, 25 breaths a minute. Why is that important? The faster we breathe when we're not exercising, because exercise, we create a lot of CO2, we got to breathe, breathe faster and faster. But when we're not doing anything and we breathe too fast, we're getting rid of too much carbon dioxide. So the carbon dioxide level goes down in the blood. When the carbon dioxide goes down in the blood, the blood vessels constrict, making it more difficult for oxygen to get delivered to all the tissues in the, in the, in the same concentration. Carbon dioxide is also very important for the mitochondria. They produce, it's a sign of healthy mitochondria because mitochondria produce CO2. 
So, when we take sodium bicarbonate, which turns to CO2, we're increasing oxygen delivery almost instantly to, to, to the cells, which is a fundamental issue when dealing with any kind of disease. Sodium bicarbonate is, become, is a buffer, bicarbonate is a buffer in the blood to help control pH, which is another crucial parameter. In 1918, during the Spanish flu, where millions of people died, there was one doctor who was using sodium bicarbonate in all his patients, and he didn't lose one patient. I've seen some reports, some people trying to put down sodium bicarbonate, and it's pretty crazy. It's such a basic natural, instant-acting medicine. And actually it is used in intensive care wards and emergency departments. When, when, a, when a per, you know, the blood is very tightly controlled in terms of its pH, when the blood starts turning a little bit acid, it's very dangerous, either alkaline or acids they inject, or through intravenous means, apply sodium bicarbonate as a life-saving emergency um, treatment. One of the nicest ways to take sodium bicarbonate is with lemon. You just put the lemon in the glass and you drink it down. The products I've been personally using I use this for many years, this product from Claire Labs, because it has sodium bicarbonate and potassium bicarbonate. So you're getting actually less, the potassium of course is very valuable and very necessary for life. And because it's potassium bicarbonate, we're getting less salt, not just sodium bicarbonate. What I've been using lately, these past year, or maybe it's two years already, is this, this product called pH Adjust. This is in tablet form, tablet form. This is a powder. Has sodium bicarbonate, potassium bicarbonate, and very importantly, magnesium. In a very easy to use or consume um, liquid. You, you know, mix it with water, obviously. Don't use lemon, and it goes down very easily, so you get your bicarbonates, you get your potassium, and you get your magnesium. I start my day every day with this. The older we are, the more we need bicarbonate. Why? Because bicarbonate is produced in the stomach to neutralize stomach acid. And taking sodium bicarbonate actually stimulates the uh, secretion of hydrochloric acid. The pancreas creates sodium uh, bicarbonate to neutralize the food, the acid in the food coming out of the stomach. And the kidneys create bicarbonate in quite strong quantities to control the pH of the blood. As we age, you the, these three different organs, they, the level of production of bicarbonate goes down. One of the reasons we become more acidic. So there is such a thing as bicarbonate deficiencies. So this is a real thing as we get older and so bicarbonate addresses these issues and helps these organs um, stay in balance. One of the reasons we get diabetes is the uh, uh, pH goes out of control in the pancreas. We don't make enough bicarbonate and it becomes very vulnerable. So I love sodium bicarbonate, potassium bicarbonate, and suggest that everybody pay attention to it, including doctors who should be using it much more, prescribing it, but it's not a pharmaceutical, there's no money in it, 
But that is not a way to look at medicine. 